Hello, welcome to this lesson. And in this lesson, we are going to look at creating Facebook page and setting it up. Every Facebook ad you run has to be done from your Facebook page. So this is what differentiates your business from your personal Facebook profile. You remember we did set up a Facebook account or profile. This is so that we can have access to all of the Facebook business tools that we need to run our business and advertise to our target audience and part of that too is the Facebook page. So if you don't have a Facebook page already for your business, this is the right time to create one and in this lesson we are going to actually do that. So you're going to see how we create and brand our Facebook page and also go through the necessary setup that we need. In case we start running ads, we should be able to take control of our advertising and also reaching out to our customers. So the first thing you do to create an ad, of course you can see this account is a new account so we don't really have much activities or widgets on it. So the more we use this account, the more we are going to have some activities on it. So that being said, let's go ahead and create a Facebook page. In order to do so, you would see a create button here, so you click on it and then you choose what you want to create. So you can create a page, you can create an ad, a group event or a fundraiser. So we are concentrating on the page for now. Of course, you need a Facebook page to be able to create a Facebook ad. Don't start creating your ad from here. Just follow the course step by step. Everything would make sense as we proceed. I'll click on page. This opens up the create a page screen. Now I have to choose what kind of page do I want to create. In this case, we are going to create a business page. You can choose the community or public figure if you are trying to create a page for a celebrity or you are a celebrity or you are trying to build a community. So I'll click on get started and then you would have to choose a page name. So this is where you would have to enter your business name. Before now, you must have known your business. You, your business must have a name or a brand that you're planning to promote. And you should not enter a brand name or a business name that is owned by someone else or that is known to be owned by another person. So make it unique, make it yours. That way you will not have any problem in the future. I have come up with a name which I plan to use throughout this course for the page and I call it Viral Stuff Shop and the category. So you can start typing and Facebook suggestion is going to bring up a bunch of categories and you pick the one that is most similar to your, um, your niche or your industry or what you plan to promote. So for Viral Stuff Shop, I want to promote gift items, I want to promote um, fashion items and also gadgets and home equipment. So I think, um, let me start off with um, home. Okay, I see that home is available, let's see gifts. Okay, I think gift shop best describes the kind of page or business I want to create. So I'll select gift shop, then I would enter my address, the address of the business. So I'll select the city, so you can enter your city, your postal code and also your phone number. Sorry, I'm blurring this part out because it's um, a private information and I don't want to let it out to the public. So. Also, you can choose not to show your address, but it's totally up to you. Having done that, you click on continue. Alright, our page has been created. So, I'll click on upload a profile picture and then I'll select a profile picture. I've already done this profile picture before now. And always make sure that your profile picture is your logo for your business. And I'll do the same thing to upload a cover photo. This is kind of like a banner. Again, I've already done the banner design before now. So what I used to design my cover photo and my logo is Canva. As you can see, it's displaying beautifully. If you look below this video, you would see a description and also a link that says you should click to sign up for Canva. So if you click on that link and sign up to create a Canva account, you would get free credits to use Canva's premium elements like pictures, icons, illustrations for free. So go ahead and click to sign up to Canva. It's important because it will help you create graphics for your page and for your business in a very very fast and efficient way. Also, 
you can choose to create your graphics based on what you want to use it for for example you can see how this cover photo fits perfectly on this page it's because canva has already optimized the graphics to use the actual resolution that is required to be put up on a facebook cover photo which is 820 by 312 same thing for the um, profile picture which is meant to be your logo except you are trying to promote yourself that's when you can use a picture let's say it's a personal brand and your logo is your image that's when you can use your picture on your facebook page profile photo not your facebook account it's important you know the difference between your facebook page and your facebook account so that being said our page is created and we need to do some basic setup so the first setup i always want to do is to create a page username i'll click on create page username and then in here i'll try a bunch of usernames that is very similar to my page name so that i can give people a direct facebook link to my page so let's try viral stuff You see it says the username isn't available so i'm gonna add shop still not available then i can add an underscore it still isn't available so viral stuff 247 is available and i think it actually makes sense to me because this can tell the user that okay we sell viral stuff 24 7 okay so you can actually create a page username and this page username is going to be yours okay so you can go ahead and give someone your page url facebook.com slash viral stuff 247 so having done that i'm going to create the username right now voila our username has been created and here we can have short links that we can use to drive traffic to our page so I'm going to OK that and then let's move on to other setups that are necessary. Let's start with the first thing on the list which is creating a call to action to the website. So as you can see over here this large blue rectangle button that says add a button. This is the call to action. This is the button people click to drive them to wherever you want them to go to. So I'm going to start by adding a call to action so in the first step it says what button do you want people to see do you want them to contact you or make booking with you let's say you are um, a, a booking service or an agent or a travel agent or a study about consultant you can have people make bookings with you and Facebook now has a booking system that makes it very easy to connect to your customers so learn more about your business this can be driving them to a particular website or a page in your website you can drive them to your about page or shop with you exactly the same thing you can drive them to your e-commerce website so mostly this is what i use for e-commerce websites so um, you can pick anyone that better um, suits your purpose so if you are a game or app developer you can use this particular one to drive people to your your app or your game on the google play store or whatever marketplace you launched your app so you can choose which one best suits you according to your business needs so for me i'm going to click on learn more about your business so i'll click on the learn more option here and then i'll click on next so here we are on step two we're going to click to add a website link to drive people to our website so i'm going to use my url here viralstoreshop.com if you need a website to sell your products or services you can contact me send me an email my email address is on the screen right now hello at kennethben.com and indicate that you want a website so we can discuss further all right so that being said i'm going to click finish and our call to action button is set so if i click on test button that should take me out of this page 
to my website so let's move over to the next setup which is the page information and to access the page information you can get it exactly right here here we are on the page information section so we can click here to add our description and add some other necessary information on this page so you know your business very well you know the information that you want people to see you go ahead and customize it i'm not going to bore you with entering all this information i'm going to do it later on on my own so let's move over to setting up the next item which is the message auto responder and right here under page info is messaging so you click on messaging messaging comes up then you go over here to general settings and turn on the switch once that is done you click go to automated responses automate your response to messenger facebook and instagram so you click on ok so this took us to the frequently asked questions part um, what we are very much interested in right now is the instant reply so i'm going to turn on the switch for instant reply then i'll click on instant reply there is a default message here that says hi thanks for contacting us we receive your message and appreciate your getting in touch so you can personalize this message okay you can edit choose the platform you want this instant replies to be made you can choose messenger and instagram or messenger alone or instagram alone whichever one so i'm going to leave messenger alone so the timing you can be a little bit creative here you can send it instantly or delay it for some seconds or minutes so it actually looks authentic like an actual person is responding so over here you can change the text which is the default one to your own personal one so i'm going to leave you to do that on your own so you can also add personalization so you can add the first name of the recipient so it looks more personal so you it already enters a string here that you know because it's my account so it's printed out my first name so i'm going to remove this high and move it over here so it says hi Kenneth so whoever comes to your page at that point in time let's say Daniel came to your page so it's going to replace the name of the string that has been added there to the actual name of the recipient so it's going to be hi Daniel thanks for contacting us so it sounds more personal and it gets the customer's attention to whatever you've written on that message so if you are available at that point in time that's when you can come in and take over the chat for the frequently asked questions you can come over here and click on on it to you know customize it the way you want add the frequently asked question the question people ask most about your business or your product you can start entering them in this section here you can also go through most of all of these um, automated response options there's also an away message which is also very good it helps you improve on your response rates which is very crucial to your the success of your facebook page so i'm going to click on save and then we can go back to our page and start making posts about our products and services i hope you enjoyed this lesson see you on the next lesson